The creation of a female humanoid robot linked with living tissues marks a watershed moment in the intersection of robotics and biotechnology. This groundbreaking advancement brings science fiction closer to reality by blurring the distinction between humans and machines. This extraordinary robot, which has synthetic skin and living cells, represents a huge step forward in the effort to create more lifelike and sophisticated artificial creatures. Let's look at the extraordinary technology that drives this invention, as well as its possible uses, problems, and ethical implications. Did you know that robots are attempting to emulate human behavior? Scientists have been working on this for a time, developing robots like Sophia and Nadine. But these machines always appear to miss something important, the human touch. Scientists are coming closer to creating robots that appear and act like humans. They're giving these robots true human-like skin and tissues. In today's video, we'll discuss the exciting advances in creating robots with genuine skin and tissues. We're going to discuss about the world's first living robots, Xenobots, and guess what? Now, these small guys can become more of themselves. We will also talk about what this technology could signify. So let's watch the video to understand more about these amazing developments. Biohybrid robots, which combine organic and artificial components, have appeared in science fiction literature as heroic action figures as well as evil assassins. These fascinating tales have served as inspiration for modern robotics breakthroughs. While we're still a long way from having human-like robots as part of our daily lives, Japanese scientists are making progress. They've devised a technology, described in the June 9, 2022 issue of the journal Matter, that not only gives a robotic finger skin-like textures, but also makes it water-resistant and self-healing. Soji Takuchi, the initial author and a professor at the University of Tokyo in Japan, reports that the finger appears slightly sweaty directly out of the culture medium. Because the finger is powered by an electric motor, it's interesting to hear the motor's clicking sounds in sync with the finger, which looks exactly like a genuine one. A primary priority for humanoid robots built to interact with humans in the healthcare and service industries is to appear human-like. A human-like look can improve communication efficiency and provide a sense of relatability. While contemporary silicone skins for robots can resemble human appearance, they fall short in recreating sensitive textures such as wrinkles and lack particular skin functions. Previous attempts to construct love skin sheets for robots encountered difficulties when adhering to dynamic objects with uneven surfaces. This procedure requires the hands of a competent artisan who can cut and tailor the skin sheets, explains Takuchi, to efficiently cover surfaces with skin cells. We created a tissue modeling method that physically molds skin tissue around the robot, resulting in seamless skin coverage for a robotic finger. To produce the skin, the scientists immerse the robotic finger in a solution comprising collagen and human dermal fibroblasts, which are key components of the skin's connective tissues. According to Takeuchi, the study's success is due to the collagen and fibroblast mixture's natural tendency to shrink and adhere firmly to the finger. Similar to paint primers, this layer acted as a consistent foundation for the subsequent application of cells, namely human epidermal keratinocytes. These cells, which make up 90% of the outermost skin layer, provided the robot a skin-like feel as well as moisture retention. The manufactured skin exhibited enough strength and elasticity to survive the dynamic actions of the robot finger curling and stretching. The outermost layer was thick enough to be lifted with tweezers while repelling water, providing advantages in jobs such as handling electrostatically charged microscopic polystyrene foam used in packaging. In cases of injury, the created skin demonstrated self-healing qualities similar to human skin, supported by a collagen bandage that eventually converted into the skin while sustaining repetitive joint movements. Takuchi expresses surprise at how nicely the skin tissue conforms to the robot's surface. However, this effort is only the first step towards developing robots with biological skin. However, produced skin is weaker than natural skin and needs a constant supply of nutrients and waste elimination to survive. Takuchi and his team's next steps will be to solve these obstacles and integrate more advanced functional components within the skin such as sensory neurons, hair follicles, nails, and sweat glands. Takuchi believes that living skin is the best way to give robots the appearance and feel of living creatures because it is the same material that covers animal bodies. 
The U.S. scientists who created the first living robots, known as xenobots, have disclosed that these small creatures can now reproduce in ways that plants and animals cannot. The xenobots, which are made from the stem cells of the African clawed frog, Xenopus latus, are less than one millimeter wide. Experiments conducted in 2020 proved their abilities to move, work in groups, and self-heal. Researchers at the University of Vermont, Tufts University, and Harvard University's Wise Institute for Biologically Inspired Engineering have discovered an entirely new type of biological reproduction, unlike anything seen in the animal or plant realm. I was surprised, said Michael Levin, a biology professor and director of Tufts University's Allen Discovery Center, who co-led the study. When frog cells are separated from the remainder of the embryo and given the opportunity to adapt to a new environment, they develop novel ways to move and reproduce. Stem cells are flexible cells that can differentiate into a variety of cell types. To make xenobots, scientists extracted live stem cells from frog embryos without modifying their genomes. Under certain settings, these xenobots, which were originally spherical and made up of approximately 3,000 cells, demonstrated unusual replicating powers. The xenobots replicated using kinetic replication, which was observed at the molecular level but not at the cellular or organismal scale. Using artificial intelligence, researchers investigated billions of body types to improve the Xenobot's reproduction using a novel method. The AI designed a Pac-Man-like C-shape to maximize the Xenobot's ability to collect stem cells and make additional Xenobots. The shape itself functioned as a program, guiding the Xenobot's behavior in this unexpected process. While xenobots are still in their early phases and have limited practical uses, the combination of molecular biology and artificial intelligence has the ability to perform a variety of activities in the body and surroundings. This covers actions such as removing microplastics from the water, checking root systems, and promoting regenerative medicine. Despite concerns about self-replicating biotechnology, the researchers ensure that xenobots are lab-based, readily terminated, biodegradable, and subject to ethical guidelines? The Defense Advanced Research Project Organization, DARPA, a federal organization that oversees technological development for military applications, provided partial funding for the research. Josh Bongard, a computer science professor and primary author of the study, stated that there are numerous possibilities if we take advantage of cell's adaptability and ability to solve issues. Despite the hurdles and limitations, experts believe we can create robots that are almost human-like. As we approach a new era in robotics and biotechnology, the female humanoid robot with living tissues represents both the enormous potential and the fundamental questions that humanity faces. This technological marvel not only demonstrates breakthroughs in producing more human-like robots, but it also asks us to think about the ramifications of such developments. As we continue to push the boundaries of artificial intelligence and synthetic biology, the conversation about innovation and ethics will be critical in designing a future in which humans and machines coexist peacefully.